Hey there, CNCers. I'm here to give you a little info on what makes closed loop stepper motors awesome. I'll explain some of the advantages and differences between closed loop stepper and open loop stepper motors. And then I'll show you how to install and hook up a closed loop stepper system for the Vortex on the alt mill and long mill CNC's. Let's go! So what makes closed loop steppers so special? Here are the main differences and advantages of a closed loop stepper system. First off, they accelerate faster than an open loop stepper setup. Because closed loop steppers have a more advanced feedback mechanism, they are able to achieve better acceleration. By constantly sending feedback between the motor and the controller, the system is able to optimize the current sent to the motor to precisely control its position. Open loop stepper systems lack any sort of real time feedback system, which means they can't control acceleration as precisely. Going hand in hand with better acceleration is more power. Running a 48 volt system means there is more power available to drive the closed loop steppers, which in turn means they can access the power when required to keep up with the demands that are being asked of it. Next up, closed loop stepper systems run cooler because they are able to adjust the current drawn in real time to meet the load required. Being able to do this means they are able to avoid excessive current passing through the motor when it's not needed. You end up with a motor that generates less heat, so it runs cooler. The biggest difference, however, is that a closed loop stepper can keep track of its own position, self-correct, and send alarms to the controller if an issue arises. If an error occurs, you'll be able to pick up right where you left off because the position is known. The constant feedback with the controller, closed loop steppers can also have improved position accuracy, which leads to more accurate cuts. Setting up a closed loop stepper system on your Vortex is very similar to the open loop stepper setup we've been selling to this point. We've already got a complete assembly video for the Vortex in our online resources, so we'll put the link in the description below. The main difference when assembling your closed loop stepper to your Vortex is how the cables attach to the motor itself. Instead of just plugging into a harness, the power cable end physically screws into the motor using a small flathead screwdriver, like so. This process will be the same for your Vortex regardless of it being hooked up to a long mill or an alt mill. There is a slight deviation when installing the cables for the Vortex to the controller between the alt mill and the long mill. It's pretty straightforward for both. Let me show you how to install the closed loop stepper system for the Vortex on the SLBE on the alt mill. Connect the white limit switch end to the white limit switch port for the A axis on the SLBE. Connect the black power end to the black ports and the green connectors to the green ports above the X, Y, and Z ports. Presto. Easy, right? Yeah, they did that on purpose. For the long mill to SLB connection, it's also pretty easy. White goes to white, black goes to black, but in order to get power, we need to use this jumper cable to the external power supply. The single end of the jumper cable will connect to your external power supply. On the split end of the jumper cable, one will connect to the board as normal power would, and the other end will go to the vortex cable. And that's it. The engineers over here made it pretty much plug and play. Lastly, there are a few things to double check and changes to make if you're using Gsender as your sending software. Keep in mind that we recommend that you check the resources online for the most up to date info, just in case anything has changed since we made this video. So fire up Gsender, go up here to the firmware section. The first thing we're going to check and change is the number dollar sign for invert stepper enable pins. We are going to make sure that A is toggled on. You want on. Cool, that's the first one. Second, dollar sign 21. You want to make sure that hard limits are disabled. So we're going to toggle it to off. Next is dollar sign 37 and steppers de energize. We want to make sure that A is toggled on. That will make sure that our A axis cannot turn accidentally or rotate accidentally. And then we're going to hit apply new settings. The last thing you're going to want to do is go over here to the console and you are going to type in dollar sign 103 equals 79.01234567.9. This is just basically making sure that your rotation on your A is set to the proper amount of rotation. And then you're going to click run. You'll see that it says that. And that's all the settings for G-Sender. There you have it, folks. Now you know why closed loop steppers are awesome and how to hook them up to your log mill or your alt mill. So get out there, have some fun, and let the wood chips fly.